What's up guys, welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. Happy Monday, I'm Craig, and we are gonna be taking a look at the markets. Are we gonna get a little pump this morning as markets open and then continuation to the downside? Or will Bitcoin go test the 20K again? We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna look at the charts. I'm super bullish on the DXY, but that doesn't mean we can't dip down just a little bit more, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. As of right now, uh, the making of this video, markets have not opened yet, but they may be open by the time this video comes out. Dow futures are up 221, S&P futures up 2450, and NASDAQ up 3850. Let's look at the Dow. So the Dow, we've been watching this falling channel. And we, if we do come up in the RSI to retest this trend line, we could get a big fake rally to a continuation to the upside today. But here's the areas I'm watching for resistance. Let's move this down. Our daily is gonna be right in this area around 31.4. So it was up 200 and some points, um, and that would get us close to that. But I'm looking for a rejection on this bottom trend line here. Uh, this is a pretty heavy resistance around that 31.4. If we do get above that, open and close tomorrow's above that, then we could be bullish. But um, other than that, in the macro, it's still looking bearish. I still think we come back down to the downside here um, in the next few weeks or somewhere in that time frame for another push down. If we do break this 27.9, our measured move target from this rising channel is 27. Um, and I've spoken about that before. If we do get down to this range, something like this, get another bounce, breakdown, we'll probably bounce around in here for a while before the actual breakdown to our next target around that 22.7, 22.6 range. Um, let's take a look at DXY. So this is the trend line we've been watching on the DXY. Remember, we had one touch here, one touch here. This is our third touch. Now, this is on the daily. Uh, we haven't quite, if we zoom in here, we have not quite touched it yet. So if this does come down to test this trend line, although this may be enough, we'll look at it on the four hour. But as you guys know, my targets for the DXY, my next targets around that 122 level, and that's the measured move of this break. But if we look at the weekly, and then we'll go into the four hour, but if we look at the weekly here, I am super bullish on the DXY. I talked about the DXY being the only thing that rises in a true traditional bear market, which I do believe we are in. I do believe this is gonna get a lot worse for traditional markets. Uh, but anyways, if we get up, get our rejection here at the 122, we may bounce around in there for a little while. Maybe that'll be where our false bottom for Bitcoin is. But once we break above that, get support, uh, as you guys know, my next target is massive. 178 to 180 for the DXY. That's the measured move of this falling wedge that we've been watching. While everybody else was bearish on the DXY years two years ago, I was extremely bullish. Still am. This may take more time to play out, but Nevertheless, super bullish on the DXY, which is bearish for the markets. If you guys are interested in trading before we get into Bitcoin, oh, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily updates. Make sure you tick that notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. But if you guys want to trade pre-markets, um, Bitcoin, gold, silver, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all from one exchange, check out Prime XBT. I have a link down below. They don't trade against you by far my favorite exchange. You can use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. So this is the daily Bitcoin chart we've been watching. We talked about this last week. This 55 EMA is my major point of resistance. And right now it is right around... Uh, 19,880. So if we do get up here, if we get a daily open and close above that, then we may get that rally up into the you know 22 to 24,000, but we have to open and close a daily above this uh, 19,880. But if you look here, this was not a breakout. This was the triangle we've been watching, right? But if we look at this and look at the volume, that is not breakout volume. As you can see, volume is declining. I do think this thing is gonna turn around and come down pretty fast and hard. Does that mean it has to happen today? Absolutely not. The other thing we were looking at was this. If we move this up now to where it got rejected, we are still just making a triangle. Um, as you can see, we had a touch at the bottom, touch at the top, 
no touch at the bottom till over here now we've had a touch at the top so we had to adjust this a little bit nevertheless um i still think once we break this bottom trend line guys it's going to be pretty fast so be prepared um but again if we do get a rally in the traditionals today up to that you know what was it 30 31.4, 31.3 range, then we may get a little pump up there because the DXY has, let's look at the four hour. The four hour, we have just a little bit more room to go retest that trend line again. As you can see, we had our touch here, touch here, didn't quite touch it here. So chances are there's a possibility in the next day or two, we can still come down to get a real test, but that may be close enough to get us our bounce from here. So be careful. Um, let's go back over to Bitcoin. As of right now, it is above the 21 EMA, below the 55 EMA on the daily, right? Let's take a look at the four hour and kind of take a look at what's going on. So on the four hour, we did have, we did have the 21, the 13 and the eight cross the 55 here, but the next candle after the cross did not open and close above the eight. So that is um, that invalidates the bullish view here. If we would have closed this candle above the 19,340, um, that would have been the EMA long signal, but we did not get it. And if we take a look at the weekly, which we're going to do here in a minute, but taking a look at the four hour here, let's, let's just do a quick four hour look at what's going on. So if we put a trend line here, let's put this up. This shows if we do get up to this range, the price label on there, somewhere in this area, the 19.5 again, and just to come down, probably going to make a, we'll put a flag pull in here, bring that flag pull down. That's gonna get us back down to this 18.9 to 19,000 area again. So in the next day or two, I believe we're gonna test that again. But what'll happen here is if we keep an eye on the RSI, we break this trend line, open and close four hour below it, um, most likely continued to the downside. So uh, again, guys, looking at the macro, as you guys know, this is my Amazon compared to Bitcoin chart. I do believe we are going to still see something like this in the true bottom to be in the middle or end of next year. I think we're gonna have a false bottom in the beginning of next year, February or March, around the 75 to 8,500, get a bounce up to maybe 14, 15,000 again, and then continuation to the downside. As you can see on the RSI, same thing. Once we break this weekly trend line like we did over here, that will be the false bottom. And then I believe we come back down to test the weekly trend line, just like I think it'll be over here sometime in the middle or end of next year. We've been talking about this for a long time. One of the ways you can tell we're still in a bear market is every little pump, everyone gets super bullish, just like back here. We've really had nothing happen here, guys. And if we zoom in on the weekly, we have done nothing but continue, continually getting rejected off the AEMA. So unless this changes, guys, the weekly is still bearish. Um, 100% still bearish in the macro. Nothing's changed there at all, guys. So let's take a look at one more picture. This is the same chart zoomed out. And if it plays out the same way, we can be looking sometime in the middle of next year for a 38, or I'm sorry, in 2025. I know people don't believe that because a four year cycle, it has to go to the moon, right? Um, that just would not look right on the charts. It's not, I don't think that's a possibility. I'm looking for around 40K sometime in 2025, guys. There is tons of opportunity to make a lot of money in here, not just hodl, right? Um, if you are just a hodler, get exposure to you know gold, silver, whatever. Always have a little bit of exposure in case things do take off, but to go all in on anything, um, in these markets right now is extremely dangerous. I do believe we are in a traditional bear market and it's gonna be escalating very soon in my opinion. So if this was to happen, right, that would get us down to our bottom middle or end of next year around that 3,500 range. 
you know, it may bottom around six, seven thousand too, but I, I'm still looking for this. If it changes, I'll let you guys know. And then middle of 2025, get up in here, great big short opportunity or sell opportunity, then buy back again sometime in 2027, somewhere in that range. And there's just tons of opportunity, guys. This is not negative saying Bitcoin's gonna go down. There is so much opportunity when it goes down and back up. People have to, see if you hodl, you, you buy up here, you hodl, everybody tells you to hodl, it could be years before you get back there, right? Buying and selling, guys, you gotta buy and sell. Do not get emotionally attached to any market. There's always a time to sell and then buy back in, in any market, right? Um, the, and does this guarantee Bitcoin's gonna see new all-time highs um, in 10 years? Nothing's a guarantee in any market, but if this does play out, it is gonna be the hugest opportunity I have ever seen, right? And this here is the same chart, the weekly. This blue line here is the Amazon chart. And if we put it over, the tops and the bottoms match up. Uh, the, there's nothing more I could say. This thing is just playing out beautifully. If it breaks and goes, you know, it, it breaks this whole formation, this whole bubble pop pattern, then we start looking for different opportunities, different things in the market, seeing what's going on. But so far, this is playing out beautifully. No invalidation yet. So um, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget, guys, smash those thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of people think we've bottomed. Do you think we bottomed? Do you think we're going to go much higher? Or do you think we still have lower to go? I'm curious to see here what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Take it easy. Have a great day. Don't forget, smash the like, subscribe if you haven't already, and tick that notification bell. See you in the next video.